Hello and welcome to another episode of My Life Experiences. You are with me, your host, Wezi Nyanewa Sosola. Today, I've just come with some word of encouragement to somebody. Maybe especially a youth out there, you're just coming from school, you've just graduated, and you're out in the world looking for opportunities. And also, you could be contemplating in your mind for some time now on whether to get a driver's license or not. But you are failing to make that final decision. Uh, perhaps due to fear of failure or fear of the unknown. I would like to encourage you today that you have taken the right step. The decision that you are making is the right decision. In as long as you have attained the right legal age for getting a driver's license from your context, whatever country you are coming from, it could be at 18 years old, it could be at 21 years old, but as you, long as you have attained that right legal age, it's the right time for you to get the driver's license. Yeah, you know, there are some things that we do in life, some decisions that we make that are simply meant to enrich you, to add value to yourself, and also to give you a comparative advantage in the job industry. Because sometimes, maybe you may be faced with some employment opportunities, and the employer may, may also want somebody who's got a driver's license. So for you, apart from meeting all the other a recruitment criteria having all the qualifications but simply because you don't have a driver's license you do find yourself losing out being excluded from this opportunity so this is a, just an encouragement to you that if you are contemplating doing, doing that go ahead and get your driver's license i know of people who have gotten their driver's license at a very young age maybe at 18 years old as long as they have gone through all the official process of getting a driver's license, they have done their driver's lessons, they are now, they have passed their exam, they have passed their assessment and tests, as long as they have done that and they are competent to drive a, a, a car on the roads, it's okay for them, How, whatever age they are, as long as they have attained that right legal age. So, for me, I got mine at the age of, I think, in my early 20s. I don't know whether it was 22 or 23, when I had just started work. And I remember when I was trying to get my driver's license, I had engaged somebody to teach me some driving lessons. But it turned out that the person was very busy, such that our lessons were not being consistent. And every time, it would take some days apart for us to do the lessons and I decided to curtail my contract with this person and somebody else came to me with some discouragement saying that why Z, why are you curtailing your lessons with this person uh, you know you just want to get your driver's license overnight uh, some of us we've taken over a year without getting a driver's license so why do you just want to get it overnight I did not respond to this person but I thought hard about it then I said, why really should it take me over a year to get a driver's license? This is a process that people can do within a month and they get a driver's license. And for sure, <clears throat> I asked about and people recommended a driving school to me. I started attending lessons with that driving school. Intensive, very intensive trainings for two weeks every day, more than an hour a day. We did the training by the end of the two weeks. I was confident enough to face the driving exam. And glory to God, I went to the road traffic directorate, went through all the processes, and by the end of the day, I got my driver's license. So this is an encouragement to you that it's possible to get a driver's license using the official channel. Now, for you, especially as a Christian, somebody may be lying to you that now nah, just go ahead and bribe somebody get a free driver's license it's okay um, but um, for you as a christian just know that that is a sin before god bribery is con condemned in the word of god that it is a sin so don't be tempted to follow that channel apart from it being a sin there are so many accidents happening in the roads um, of many countries in the roads of malawi and uh, caused due to incompetent drivers the driving lessons that we go through that we undergo and even the tests that we undergo they are meant to make us to be competent drivers and avoid accidents on the road and if you just buy 
your driver's license, you would find that you don't have necessarily skills to enable you to drive competently on the roads. And it may lead to you being injuring yourself or also maybe injuring somebody else. It may lead to you uh, being arrested due to incompet incompetent driving. And also you may end up killing yourself or killing somebody else, which is not good. It may give you a very big burden on your life if you know that I've killed somebody due to my driving incompetence. Yeah, that is all I wanted to share about driving. But now talking about killing yourself or killing somebody, just want to talk to someone today that death is in is in every table we are all going to go through the same process as long as the lord doesn't come we we'll all go through the same process and just want to take this opportunity to remind you that how prepared are you to meet your maker when he calls upon your name when that final days arrives for you whatever process through vehicle accidents through whatever sickness and diseases whatever process it will be how prepared are you to meet your maker? I just want to read from the book of John chapter 14 verse 6. It's saying that I am the way I am the truth and the life. No one comes to the father except through me. Jesus Christ is saying this, that he is the way, the truth and the life. And nobody comes to the father except through him. Guys, this is an exclusive claim, very exclusive. That means there is no other way apart from Jesus Christ. And we know that this is true. How do we know? Because he died and rose from the dead. He promised that he will rise and he indeed rose from the dead. On that Sunday, resurrection morning, when that earth quaked and this stone that covered his tomb was cast away and the guards who were guarding the, his grave ran away, he rose again from the dead and he appeared to so many people as evidence. For many days, people witnessed him, he appeared to them. And then people even saw him ascending to go back to the Father. That's how we know that his promise is true, that he's the only way, the truth and the life. And we also know this through some of us, we are witnesses. Because we've got a personal relationship with God. And because he's a living God, we are always having this fellowship with him. And we know that he is true. What he said, his word, we take, it at, at his, we take him at his word. So just believe in him. That he's the only way, the truth and life. Accept him in your life. How do you go about doing this? Romans 10 verse 9 says that if you confess your sins... With your mouth, the Lord Jesus Christ, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Just confess with your mouth, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are going to be saved. Thank you so much, viewer. I hope this has been helpful to you. To get a driver's license using the official channel and also to accept Jesus Christ as the only way, the truth, and the life. Thank you so much. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you haven't subscribed. And also, click the thumbs up, the like channel. Thank you so much. Stay blessed. Oh, do -be -do -be -do -be